Welcome to our weekly Forex forecast, and this is for the week of February 11th to February 15th. Okay, so let's dive in here. Thank you for joining me here today. So before we get started here, just a quick disclaimer. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. All right, so as usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So this week coming up, we have, um, let me just refresh my screen here so we can actually see the week properly. So this week, okay, uh, perfect. So we have uh, GDP uh, numbers for um, UK here. So that will have an impact on British pound. So if the numbers are positive, that will be positive for the British pound. So with the Brexit uncertainty and Bank of England um, also express some concerns around the economy and world economy as well. So if GDP numbers come in negative, it will have a negative impact on British pound here. On Tuesday here, we have Bank of England, Governor Carney speaking again. We did hear him speak last week. And uh, like I said, he had expressed some concerns around the economy and also Brexit scenarios and Fred Fetcher Powell is speaking here. And Fed as well, they have been, um, they've sort of backtracked a little bit after his uh, Powell's meeting with Trump. He is not as uh, bullish, um, shall we say, on the economy and raising rates. So if his speech basically says the same things, then that would be negative for the US dollar. Um, and then we have a Reserve Bank of New Zealand here, their statement, monetary uh, policy, as well as cash rate here. Uh, they're, I, we're not looking for them to raise rates at this point. I think uh, um, it would be hard for them to be raising rates, especially since they haven't raised rates when other central banks were raising rates. So now that everybody's taking a back seat here, I don't expect New Zealand to be uh, sort of be on the forefront of that. Now, what the important thing that we'll have to pay attention to will be the the commentary again, because these days it's the commentary that we have to focus on. So if Reserve Bank of New Zealand expresses uh, concern around world economy, because China is a big trade partner with New Zealand, New Zealand exports a lot of stuff to China. So if China isn't doing so well, that could have a negative impact on New Zealand as well. So if they express concerns around that trade wars and the world global economy, that uh, could be negative and they may not raise rates and that could be negative for New Zealand dollar here. And then going into Wednesday, we have CPI numbers for the US. CPI number is the inflation number, very, very important number that the central bank tracks. So if the inflation comes in negative here or lower than what's expected, that will be bad for US dollar and we could see the US dollar drop because um, it's again, another thing that will show that Fed may not raise rates this year. And then going further here, we have a Reserve Bank of New Zealand, Governor Orr speaking. Again, we do not have a speech here. Uh, oh, we do have a press conference. So because the press conference would have happened, this may not be as impactful, but again, any uh, comments that come out um, always have a potential to move the markets when there is central bank involved. On Thursday here, we have uh, uh, co-retail sales and PPI numbers here. Again, important data point that uh, the market tracks. So this will have an impact on the US dollar. Then we have retail sales here for uh, British pound there. So that's it in terms of important news that's coming out. So let's move on to our charts now. We'll start off with Euro dollar here. So last week, Euro was, uh, Euro went into the high of the range here. And from there, we have seen a nice bearish engulfing candle close here. So based on that, that looks, um, bearish here so bias is bearish and this is the move that i'm looking for maybe a bit of a pullback and then a drop from there so bias is to the downside looking for price to come back into the low of the range here which is 1.1 to uh, 20 ish level so bias is bearish for euro dollar here for the coming week 
pound here, pound was interesting because of the central bank there. And uh, we do have a bearish candle close here. So bias is bearish at this point and looking for price to drop further here. Now this one too, we could get a pullback and uh, then I would look for a further drop. So this is the type of move I'm looking for. First target would be back into the low of this week at 1.2850 and then looking for a potential break and a further move to the downside. Second target would be 1.2680 level. So bearish bias here for pound as well. Aussie dollar here, this one we have seen a drop. Um, here we did have Reserve Bank of Australia last week. And uh, um, again, it wasn't very good. They expressed concerns over the economy, world economy and so forth. So overall, uh, which was negative for our Australian dollar here. So this week, bias is to the downside. We have a nice bearish engulfing candle close here. So this is the type of move I would look for. Bias is to the downside. And the target here would be 0 0.6920. So bearish bias for Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar here, this one was also bearish. Uh, we have a big bearish candle close here. So bias is to the downside. And again, I will watch out for pullbacks in everything, especially after we have had um, some moves here. Now bias again to the downside. We have a big, like I said, bearish engulfing candle close here. So looking for this type of a move here. So pullback, drop, um, bit of a pullback and drop. So looking for price to go into this um, bottom of this uh, candle here, which is at 0 0.6580. So bearish bias for New Zealand dollar as well. Dollar CAD here. We have seen um, this one go up. So looking bullish here, it didn't quite break the low there and then just turned around. So now we have a bullish move. So bias is to the upside and looking for price to go up further. But again, watch out for pullbacks. I would look for a move like this. And if it breaks the high, a further move to the upside. So bullish bias for dollar CAD. Euro pound, Euro pound has, um, has given us a bearish signal here. So it went into the high and then we have this pin bar. So looking for price to move lower biases to the downside here. And in terms of the target, first target will be our, the bottom of uh, this candle here from last week. And then if it goes past that, uh, into this lower support resistance area. So first target is 0 0.8630, second one at 0 0.8460 here. So bearish bias for Euro pound. Euro Swiss franc also we got a drop, basically Euro had dropped as a result, all the Euro crosses have uh, uh, shown similar movement here as well. So bias is bearish here. And in terms of targets, first target will be 1.1250 uh, level, then 11, sorry, 1200, and then potentially 1100 all the way down here. So bias is bearish for Euro Swiss franc. Pound Swiss franc, pound was a little bit uh, stronger like we saw across the board here, uh, but the weekly candle close is bearish. However, it's not as strong as Euro candle, for example. So this one is still bearish, but uh, just know that between the two, momentum is more in um, the Euro right now. So for here, bias is still bearish here, looking for it to do one of these moves. So, um, bearish bias this week. And as we can see, price has gone into the high here and we have a double top type of scenario. So looking for price to drop further. Bearish bias for Euro Swiss franc as well. Dollar Swiss franc here, this one was interesting because we had a bullish candle close. US dollar was stronger um, last week here. And now we are into resistance. So because we are into resistance here, as we can see here as well, price had turned around several times. So we could see price turn around. The bias is bullish just because uh, the weekly candle closes bullish here, which means there is room for this one to go higher. 
but it doesn't mean that it will necessarily go higher because we do have resistance right across this level. So it could just do one of these and come back down. So this one, we have to wait and watch and see where we get the setup. So if it holds below this 1.0027 level, then chances are it will drop. But if for some reason it goes through, then I would look for a pullback for a potential move to the upside. So this one is wait and see. But for now, uh, because we are into resistance, I would look for a reversal there. Uh, this one here, Euro Yen, sorry, Pound Yen here, bias is bearish. We have seen a bearish candle close here. So looking for it to drop further. So bias is to the downside here um, and our target 139.80 and then 137.80. So bearish bias for Pound Yen. Euro yen here, this one is also bearish. We have seen a nice bearish candle close. So looking for price to move further down here. Um, and these are the target levels. So bearish bias. And um, again, as Euro pulls back up, we could see Euro yen pull back up as well. So I will look for a bit of a, um, move to the upside before a further drop. A first target here would be 123.20 level, looking for it to drop further into the bottom of these candles. And if it blows or goes through that, then the next target would be 122.50 and then 121.50. So right now, bearish bias for Euro Yen. Dollar Yen here, this one is um, into resistance. As we have seen, price has been struggling with this level for some time now. So at this point, bias is bearish for this one as well. And I will look for price to drop uh, further here. And next one is, okay, so this one here, so this is what the type of move that I'm looking for, maybe a bit of a push up, but then a drop here for it to go back into this range. So bias is to the downside for uh, dollar yen. Aussie yen here, this one didn't, well, I dropped first and then kind of got stuck there, but the bias is bearish with this one as well and looking for price to drop further. The first target here, So we could get something like this. So first target is 26.80 and then into 26.00. So bearish bias for Aussie yen as well. All right, New Zealand yen, this one is also looking bearish. We have a nice bearish engulfing candle close here, looking for price to drop further. Again, watch out for those pullbacks, but biases to the downside, 73.00 will be the target for New Zealand yen. And then CAD yen here uh, looks like this inefficiency got filled here. So looking at our weekly here, we do have a bearish bias here as well. Price uh, went into the resistance support turned resistance here and we have seen a drop. So now we have a bearish candle close for the week. So looking for it to drop further, uh, 81, 70 here or and then 80 80 will be the second target so bearish bias here for New Zealand yen as well okay so next let's go into our commodities so we'll take a look at gold uh, gold has been pushing higher here uh, it did drop and it's holding above here the previous support resistance level. So with this one, it could go higher. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to see because it could start to trade in a range here. So right now I would look for price to go higher and we could either get one of these moves or it could go all the way into the high and then drop. So I'm looking for a range bound move essentially in gold here. Oil here, oil looks um, like it's pulled back again. It went into this resist support here, which turned into resistance, and we have a bearish candle close. So I have a look for a drop. First will be, again, to test the 5200 level, 
And if it holds above, then this one could become a range bound here as well. So we have to watch out and see how price is sort of tracks here. It could do one of these. Um, but if it breaks through the bottom here, then we are looking for price to drop further into the 50 level here and then potentially lower. But for now, we have to wait and see how price reacts into this 52.00 level at uh, the bottom here, but the bias is bearish. Copper here, copper has moved up. We, now we are into resistance here, which means it could turn around um, and looking for price to uh, drop here. So we could see a push to the upside and then potentially a drop, looking for price to come back into the range that it's been trading in. Now, for some reason, if it does break the range, then we have to wait for it to break out, pull back, and then go with it. But for now, my main bias is for it to trade back into the range. So this could be the breakout. If it breaks out, then we have to wait for a pullback and for it to hold above before going long. But right now, I'm just looking for like I said, move back down here into the range because it's traded in this range for so long. So bias is range bound here. Um, gold, uh, I had said that we are going to, um, I'm looking for range bound move, either this type of a move, or we could see it go all the way into the high and then potentially drop from there. So I'm looking for a range bound move for gold. Okay, so next one, let's take a look at silver. And then we'll have a quick peek at Bitcoin here. Silver. Okay, with the silver here. There we go. Okay, so silver, um, it dropped here, but it's sitting into this support here and it's holding above the support. So with this one as well, if it holds above the support here, it could go further up. And so I'm looking for it to be range bound here as well before it gives us a direction. So right now, as we can see, it's holding above that support. So this is an important support. So if it holds above, it can continue higher. But if it breaks down, then I'm looking for it to come back uh, towards this 15.18 level back into this level here. But right now it looks like it's holding above the support at 15.66, so it could go up higher. But it does have bearishness in it, which means it could drop through as well. So I'm not hugely bullish on this, but I would take a look at this 15.66 level. If it breaks through here and drops below this, then I would look for price to continue lower like this. Okay, so that's our silver. Now we also have indices here. Let's take a look at these ones. So with the S&P 500 here, we can see a pin here, which means we could see price turn down now. So bias is to the downside, but because there's bullishness, uh, bullishness in this candle, this green one here, it could do a retest and then come back down, but biases to the downside, looking for it to come into 2621 level here. So bearish bias for S&P 500. Nikkei here has also been dropping, so this one is more bearish here, and we have a nice bearish engulfing candle close. So looking for it to come back uh, or come lower here into this uh, support resistance level at 199.83, all the way back from here. And then if it crosses that second target will be into 19289. Uh, so bearish bias here for um, our Japanese yen as well. NASDAQ here, this one is sort of mixed just like S&P 500. We have a pin here and I would look for price to drop from here. But because there is bullish, bullishness in this candle here because of the green in the candle, we could get a uh, push higher before it drops. So watch out for that. But right now, bias is to the downside, looking for the 6604 level. So bearish bias here for NASDAQ. Uh, Dow here, this one is also looking, not Dow, my apologies, DAX here. Um, also looking a bearish, we have a big bearish candle close, just like Nikkei here. So this is bearish. 
and looking for price to drop further here. In, so 107.96 is the first target, 103.99 is the second target here. So bearish bias for DAX. FTSE here, looking for, um, this one is a little bit, uh, had more bullishness here than the others did, but it is not as, not that strong because we are into resistance here. But like I said here for the others, S&P 502, there is bullishness in this candle. There are buyers still there. So this one could go higher as well before it drops. But again, I am looking for a reversal here, looking for it to come back down. So overall bias is bearish, but watch out for that price to push up before it drops. So that's all I have. Um, and just a comment here, I'm going to be starting Turning Pro Challenge. There'll be more um, stuff coming out about that this week. And I'll be starting that again um, on February the 18th is officially the first day uh, that will be, will go live with that. So if you, if anybody's interested in joining that, I'm doing a boot camp as well, where you can um, get some coaching from me and follow along with me as well. So just watch out, uh, keep an eye out on your emails and stuff if you're interested in more information about that. So that's it for now. Any questions before I wrap it up here? All right, so no questions. So we'll wrap it up. You guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you again next week. Bye for now.